My name is Dr. Huck. First, I want to thank you for coming in today. I'm going to be your therapist. I know that this is your first session, so again, welcome. I need to let you know that confidentiality is the most important thing here. So you don't have to worry about your information getting out at all. This is a safe place, a safe space for you to be able to get honest and be open so I can give you the help that you need, okay? Now, do you have any questions for me? Okay, all right, yes. I've been in the field for about 27 years and yes, I have um, dealt with people with the same experiences that you're going through in your life today. Now, so far as the session is concerned, the session is gonna be about one to three months depending on how we progress in the sessions and how much we need to dig into uh, the issues that you are having in your life or why you're feeling the way that you're feeling okay now any other questions okay now i have some questions here on my screen but i also have some questions here on my clipboard now i'm going to jot down some of your responses so that for i can get a better assessment of what you're really experiencing what you're going through why you're feeling the way that you're feeling why you're having some of these self-defeating thoughts so we can get to the root of the problem okay yes mental health is important Okay, well, just get comfortable. If you need to close your eyes, then go ahead, close your eyes, get comfortable. Don't fall asleep on me just yet, because I need for you to respond to every single question that we have. Now, this first session is the intake session, right? We just kind of get to know one another. I get to ask you certain questions to assess where you are right now but it also allows us to be able to build a relationship between client and therapist all right okay yes i know this is your first time here all right everything's going to be okay now do you need anything to drink before we get started we have chamomile tea we have coffee we also have orange juice and milk all right good now Whenever you get thirsty, just let me know. We'll break the session for you to be able to get something to drink. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's get started. Now, just for the record, can I have your name again? I just want to make sure the right person is sitting in the chair. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, can I get your date of birth? Very good, okay. Um, your address, all right. Good, 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 good. Now, I got a series of questions that I wanna ask you. I need for you to be as honest as you possibly can. Honesty allows me an opportunity to help you to get to the root of the problem so you can get better, okay? Got it, got it, got it. Now, again, I know this is your first time, but do you remember a time where your parents had to see a therapist? Okay, all right, good. What are your symptoms? What are you feeling today? Okay, all right, good. Now, 
what do you feel is wrong with your life? I mean, what are you feeling bad about? Do you feel that you're not accomplishing some things? Do you feel that um, the world is against you? What are you feeling today? Okay. Why do you 
think that is? Why do you think that you can't hold the job down? Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay, got it. Now, I want to ask you some more questions, okay? Name three negative feelings that you have on a daily or weekly basis. Okay. Okay. What opportunities do you have right now? What opportunities? 
opportunities are available for you that's going to help you to either reach your goal that's going to help you to grow mentally or spiritually what opportunities are available to you right now it could be yeah anything okay
Okay, good. Okay. It's a start. Yes, it's a start. You gotta start somewhere. More things may be added over time, especially as we go through um, the therapy assessment of you and what you're going through, what you're feeling, and some of the things you're going to learn about yourself and how you can change these things. And it also allows you to be able to get more information about yourself. Got it. Number seven, what does success mean to you? Okay. <laughs> Besides being rich. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. Number eight. What's important to you about accomplishing this task? The success. Okay. Number nine. What do you want? Where are you saying? What are you saying yes to in your life that you may not need to say yes to? Okay. Are you a people pleaser? Do you say yes so that people would like you? Yes. Kind of like, do you say yes when you really mean no? Good, okay. Are you this open and honest? with your mom. Okay. All right, remember, no one can help you if you don't be honest. You gotta be open and honest. That's the only way you're gonna get the help you're seeking. All right, number 10. What do you like about yourself? Okay. All right. All right. That ends the first session. First session is over with. You did great. I want to thank you for an opportunity to be able to work with you as being your therapist. Now, the next session will be in two weeks. In between now and in that session, there's some things I want you to work on. Number one, I want you to work on those self-defeating thoughts, right? Put it into the search engine at home. If you have the internet, if you have a smartphone, you can go on the internet that way. Look up some of the ways you can work on dealing with self-defeating thoughts because it will keep you stuck and it will keep you paralyzed as well, okay? And we're going to talk about these things when we get back in the next session, all right? Number two, I need for you to learn how to face your fear. But what's the opposite of fear, okay? And you're gonna get some information that's gonna help you to be able to face your fears because what fear does, it paralyzes you into inaction. It will not allow you to do the things that you need to do or want to do, okay? Last but not least, I need for you to build those coping skills, all right? Put that also in the search engine, and it's going to give you some information of some things you can do to cope with stress, to cope with fear, to cope with anger. And when we get back, as I said before, we will talk about those things. We will take a look at where you are and what you have learned. Again, thank you for the opportunity to work with you. And I will see you again at the next session. Take care.